How's it going YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Bow Breeding Profiles brought to you by SignatureSnakes.com. This is episode 4 in the series where we're going to discuss the possible pairing of my Lipstick Sun Glow Female Wendy and my Hypo Het Albino from the lipstick line Stan. Uh, these are two very pretty boas you can see. Um, the Sun Glow Boa is a combination morph meaning that it is a combination of both being albino uh, the call strain in Wendy's case, uh, and hypomelanistic, uh, the uh, salmon strain um, in, in their case. Uh, basically the salmon trait is a huge reduction in black. Um, you can see that without the albino gene activated, this is just the salmon trait by itself, and there's not a lot of black um, throughout his body. In fact, it's like an intensified orange and you know pink, lots of yellow. Um, find his tail somewhere around here. <laughs> and you can see a lot of color down there uh, but then when you mix that with the albino gene this is what you get so um, the pairing works out really well where uh, we can go through the odds actually on my boa morph calculator so I'll put up a screenshot right now and then kind of talk us through it. Okay guys so we're actually gonna walk through a live example rather than just looking at a screenshot uh, what we're looking at here is the new version of the calculator. Um, this version now has 11 traits that you can choose from. You pick six uh, that you want to look at and then click populate, which I've already done, and then it'll fill in these six boxes with uh, the traits you've selected and then your choices for each uh, of the animals, um, you know, how that gene basically can be expressed within the boa. And then down here are uh, drop downs for the father on the top row, the mother on the bottom. Uh, for how each of those six traits that you've selected is actually expressed in the boa. So in the case of Stan and Wendy, uh, Stan is a hypo head albino. So in the hypo area where you would pick that, you would just click the drop down, you set to hypo. He's also het albino and that's het for call albino. So over here in this drop down, uh, you would drop that and hit al or excuse me, het for albino. Uh, and then in Wendy's case, she's a sun glow, so that means she's albino and hypo. So we come over here to albino, select that in the albino category, and then hypo in the hypo category, click calculate, and all of our results are displayed below. Uh, basically what this is is a percentage probability as well as a fraction, sort of a one out of every eight or one out of every four. Uh, and then the list of the actual morphs right here. So we have super sun glows, sun glows, albinos, and then super hypos, het albino, hypo het albino, and het albino. Uh, so six different morphs, and then they all occur in different ratios. Now what you see here is the split on a morph by morph basis. So this says albino should be 50% and het albino should be 50%. And our top three, which when you sum these fractions, you get uh, one or uh, you know it, it's one half of the litter same thing down here these are the ones that are albino and these are the ones that are het and then over here it's predicting 25% uh, should be super hypo which is the super sun glow and then the super hypo head albino hypos should be 50% which is sun glow and hypo head albino and those come in a one out of every four where your supers are only coming in a one out of every eight. And then the same goes for uh, a non-hypo boa or wild type for the hypo gene. Uh, that's 25%, which is these bottom two summing to 25%. So that's the pairing. Basically three out of every eight boas we'd expect to be sun glows in a litter of 24, 25. You're hoping for nine sun glows in a litter uh, with a hypo head albino to a sun glow. That's what the calculator is, is telling. and. I promise all the math works, <laughs> at least by the time you get a copy. So it's a pretty cool pairing. Obviously selective breeding is going into this. I mean two gorgeous boas, a ton of color uh, between the both of them and they really should make a great pair uh, if we actually decide to go through with it. Um, it is next year so we don't know kind of what will happen as far as maybe another male uh, in the collection is ready or, or something along those lines. But at least with these two very good odds on some really pretty boas and uh, I think you guys can see why <laughs> we would want more of these. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure to check out the website SignatureSnakes.com. Uh, you can check out the whole collection, the projects that we have going on. There's also a full section on the morphs. 
Um, all the different morphs is kind of still building and a little bit under progress, but uh, a lot of the morphs are filled in with some information about their background, lots of pictures, um, you know, the morphs uh, kind of traits, uh, how the genetics involved, all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy that. And also make sure to let me know if you want a copy of the uh, Boa Morph Calculator. Uh, we got some action here. <laughs> a copy of the Boa Morph Calculator, just shoot me a private message with your email address and I will make sure to get back to you with that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.